Welcome back. I'm sitting on the floor. I think this is the only way that I could give a good shot of this thing for you guys. It is sort of already unzipped. I tried this with the Insta, but I had the, uh, and I had it on the chest thing there, but uh, the ND filter on it was too dark, so it looked like crap, but significantly brighter on my phone. But like I said, welcome back to the channel. I've been trying to figure out how to do this backpack talk about. It's considered a tactical backpack, but, uh, for FPV, I think it is beyond a awesome idea. It fits so many things. It has room for everything we use. Um, my FPV goggles, for example, are the size of a microwave oven, as I've been told. And uh, it's hard to fit them in a backpack compared to. I have the Headplay SE V2s, which are a box goggle, and they are the biggest box goggle still, as far as I know, on the market. But I'm okay with that because I more of a cinematic flyer <clears throat> and I I like the view I like the wide open box style and uh, it leaves a lot for me to see when I'm flying to pick and choose where I'm gonna go but I'll get to that in a minute um, I have my phone on a tripod I'm probably gonna have to put it down a couple times and hopefully I'll get the right shots but this is what you get it is already open I'll show you the other side because I only have one hand at the moment so if I back off a little bit, it is, here's the actual back with the little pads. It's around 12 inches or so, give or take. A little bit more maybe in full depth when it's completely opened. It's sort of harmonica, or what we call pianos down. <clears throat> Still out of breath and planking, Jesus. Um, if you don't have it full, you can use these straps right here and it tightens and you can sh it'll shrink so if you only have stuff mainly in this compartment and just a couple accessories then you can shrink it or you just loosen the strap and then you have it all the way open let's see if i can put this down here just for a second tilt it back there we go all right and i'll move it back here so you got the back i believe these are called molly straps something like that m o l l e you can put little C-clips on these, and uh, you can attach a water bottle holder, you know, your license holder, identification, um, God knows what. But you have the option here, and they go all the way down. So just endless customization. Both this side and the backpack part are super cushioned, so anything that's in the bag won't be poking and bothering you. On each, if I'm pointing, on each side here, make sure I'm doing that right. Hold on. On each side, there is a belt style thing that comes out that's tucked in so it can wrap around your waist and clip in to give you more security based on what you're carrying, depending on the type of hike, you know, when you go climbing up a mountain to get the shot, you want your bag attached. So that is a really cool feature. All right, let me lay it down. Make sure you're in the shot. Tilt it forward. So that's the side profile. Actually, I'll just move, it might be easier. So you've got three main compartments. You got your lower, you got your mid, and then this thing opens up and this is like a two-parter. So you have a compartment in here, this unzips, you have a pocket in here, and then you have this thing. For most of you, you got normal flyers that fly Fat Shark um, and all the other small style sit here. So you get that. What I found out fits perfectly is the Insta360 Go 2. This is the, I guess, OE style compartment. And this is about the size of most normal goggles. They fit um, like the Beta 65, 75 little cases. Um, those fit. You can get two inside here. So if you're carrying a bunch of micros, whoops and stuff, they'll fit in there. So close that up. I should zip this up as much as I can so it'll actually support itself a little bit here. Let's do that. Turn it on its side. All right. So your front compartment, adjust that. Back up a little bit. So like I said, you have more of the Molly style things. These, this clip here was what was attached to the shoulder things and I took it off for here for testing. It's like a C-clip. It is a C-clip, not like. Sound like a freaking girl. 
these can be attached to any one, and I'd love to know where I can get more of these little C things. That's pretty cool. But a quad easily fits from a Cinewhoop to a 5-inch freestyle. And the cool option with this is the normal straps. Let me grab my little bag real quick. If you order stuff like I do, and this is, I could have had three of these filled, but I, I thinned them out. These are just battery straps I get with every single order. Big shout to Race Day Quads. You could use those through here. So any quad, if it was two, you know, two inch quads or a couple three inch Cinewhoop, whatever, they will all fit on here. And it's super flat surface. So there's your main spot. On some of the inside compartments, you'll also have the room. And if you do 3D printing, then you can get even more customization style and then print little inserts, which uh, Brian's going to be doing. But you have the front compartment, which is easily seven and a half, eight inches deep. And depending, I wouldn't put anything super thick in here, but I've got some GoPro uh, base uh, Insta360 mounts, some zip ties, and this is what I'm going to use. Hey, there's the freaking thing. It fell off. Let's put it there. So you can put all kinds of quick things that you want to access right away. Um, if you don't want to dig into the bag and that's the idea depending on your level of OCD like me is once you touch your bag What is the first thing that you want to access or when you go flying? What are the first things and that is one of the main selling points for this bag is that you can pick the zipper and go right to The things that you need based on what you're gonna fly what goggles blah 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 yada 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 So yeah, you got a big compartment here then that compartment also Make sure that's in shot Actually, just pick it up. Folds out. So you have a water. This is all waterproof, by the way, which is really cool. Not that it matters on the inside, but the outside. But you have. I have the white glove touch. So clean and GoPro. Hey, more straps. Yep. So I just threw those in there for now, which will won't stay there. But you know, cleaning the GoPro lens or God knows what, I threw them in there because my one of my last flights over at our new location, there was a smudge in the on the uh, lens of the GoPro, and I didn't know it. That'd have been great to use that. But you can put tools or a tool kit. My Race Day Quads tool kit will fit in here perfectly. And then you have, what do I got in here? I got my new battery checker. So that fits perfectly in there. One of the cool features of this thing is for your keys. Or if, uh, I don't know, like a identification thing. So if you have your license and identification or a little like minimalist wallet will clip right to this. Uh, my other backpack, I have literally thrown my wallet and keys in and then freaked out because I couldn't find them because it got buried at the bottom of the bag or I forgot where I threw them. Now you have one pocket in particular so you can strap the keys and they're not going to go anywhere. I like that feature. But you got room for pencils, pens. Um, you can use the... I even got the shorty down here. The prop tool, the good old prop tool. Um, other little things will fit super kick-ass in here. My new portable soldering iron fits perfectly in here. So there is a Type-C soldering iron in here, and it just uses my um, Samsung plug-in thing. And that way, you just plug it into a wall, and you can portable solder. So that's that compartment. Let me put that down and zip that up. <sighs> got to get used to where all the zippers are. I'm still not used to it. Okay, we're going to flip it onto its side. So, all right, so we are going to go into, I guess, what you call the second area. Now, that is a lot of real estate. There is a lip two inches or so, and then you get another two ballpark in here. So, depending on if you put micros in cases, you have about four inches in depth, give or take a little bit more that if you wanted to put in here. Um, you have like a neoprene, really thick, also waterproof, big pocket here. This has all my Tiny Whoop accessories that I used for demonstration to throw in there. But I actually like that spot, so I will probably keep it in there. You have a zippable one, so if you wanted to put your wallet, keys, phone. Um, when I go hiking, I take my wallet and all that stuff out, so if a pocket happens to rip or I fall in the water... Um, experimenting as I usually put the bag down <laughs> um, it would be safe in here and it would be waterproof also on this side because this is the upside you have another double pocket for more accessories and whatever I'm gonna use these for cables 
um, like the, the cable to plug into my phone so I can use SpeedyB or whatever. Um, so you have two separate pockets. I don't think I have anything in here right now. But that's what I got right there. So that flips back up. And I'll zip it up just to make it easier here. Hopefully that doesn't fall down. And this is the biggest compartment and the most crucial for me. So, what I have in here to demonstrate its size is my controller, my Spectrum DX6E in this big lunky case, but this is what I've used to protect it. So I'm gonna work out something for a 3D printed kind of skin slash cover thing just to shrink this a little bit, but that fits in here. And then my microwave size goggles, the head plays, which you guys have seen in the video. And they could fit on the bottom, but I just chose to fit them here. Um, one of the hidden features of this backpack, especially if you're gonna multi-use this, not just for FPV or hiking and flying like us, you can put a bladder, a water bladder inside here. You got a strap to hold it down. And on the outside, there's a little slit here and that runs inside here. So you can get a hose They're around 13 bucks for a decent size one. So you could slip that in there and it wouldn't take up any extra room because it's more stretched out um, than just a thick, like two liter bottle style. You know what I mean? So you could slip that in there too and enjoy your hike a little more with a little bit of hydration. Put that back in there. On this end, you have a humongous. I had, this is the one I have not figured out what I'm going to put in here. You could put a whole ton of stuff. This would be great if you had a lot of cables from your GoPro to cell phone charger or God knows what. But you could put stuff in there like that. Um, paperwork. We have to carry that new trust. Speaking of that. Did I leave it out? My dad printed it out too big. I need to get the wallet size one. But you got that trust thing that you got to fill out and carry around with you if you're a recreational flyer. So that, that obviously could fit in there really easy. So there is a significant amount of room and a lot of options. They do come in a couple other colors. This is the black with, I don't know, this is almost like a snake skin style camo on just some of the accents. They have an all black one, but I wanted something with a little bit of accent. And I think the all black one was cheaper. They have a tan one, and then they have a tan also with the same style pattern that matches the tan color. Um, I like the fact that you can add a bunch of Velcro style patches wherever you want. I want to get one for myself. I want to get an explicit FPV one made. So I will put that onto the bag. Um, I got it on Amazon. Like It was 45 and then I had a coupon and it ended up somewhere $40, $42. I had other stuff in the cart, so I forgot the exact price. But it's super cheap. Um, I love what it's made out of. I went from literally a real backpack, like a, a high school style backpack that I got handed down. That worked really well, but it just limited me for what I could bring comfortably. Um, and there's multiple times where I said, man, I wish I brought this. Um, one of the last times we went out, I wanted to bring the Insta for all of the uh, the accessories so we could have vlogged while we were horsing around. Um, I am going to upload a video in the next couple days of F and Chet. He was sitting in our side-by-side -side thing that we were racing around, flying his tiny whoop in the woods. And I had to hold the Insta2 in one hand and drive it. And it would have been great to use the hat accessory. I left the whole case home to not stuff the backpack where it's got a home in here. Um, I said I get the room for the GoPro. So I'd be able to carry everything that I would really need in a whole day affair and, uh, and then some. So... That is my review of the Extremist Tactical Backpack. Like I said, I will put the link in the video, and I hope somebody else picks it up because I think it's worth it. I had a hard time when I've been looking. You know, when I find something I'm interested in, being OCD as I am, that I research and research and research and look and look and look and compare and watch every video I can find out there. And I'm watching some of the big-name guys reviewing some of these backpacks, and they're $200. I don't know about you, but I live penny to penny, and any amount of money that I can save um, is important, you know, to survive family-wise, keep food on the table, and then our hobby that we are all obsessed with, got to be able to do that. So this was a great save, and it ended up working out because I ordered a frame when I was going to swap over a sweet tooth, 
and the company never responded, no emails. They just took my money. So I went to PayPal and disputed it and got my money back. And uh, I used that money for this. So it's kind of like I didn't spend it. But um, if you have any other questions about the backpack, I don't remember if I said because I had to redo this again. Like I said, these straps can be used to completely compress the backpack. Um, super padded. Something simple like this, the way that they made the strap and the way that it attaches, it's super thick. It's rolled over. It's going to handle the weight of the stuff that we put in it. Um, it is super well made. So I'm going to big shout this company, the Extreme Company, Extremis. It's on there. See? I'm making sounds like a sound effect machine here, but I, I can't do that. <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I did this backpack justice. I am not a professional reviewer, just a knucklehead sitting in his basement. But uh, I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it will help many. Like I said, if you ever have the option of getting microwave oven style goggles, they'll fit in here. Uh, anyway, um, I got to get back to it and do some family stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And uh, honestly, let me know what you think. And if you have a hard time finding it, shout me out and I'll get you to a link for it. Peace out.